Long before there were grill grates or even barbecue grills, there was live fire cooking. I give you our most primal steak yet, the caveman T-bone. You don't even need a grill grate. The T-bone is my favorite steak. Season the steaks generously on both sides with coarse salt and freshly ground or cracked black pepper. Why am I such a fanatic about coarse salt? Because the crystals dissolve more slowly than table salt. So when you bite into the steak, you get a crunchy burst of salty flavor. Let me show you the fire. I'm working over natural lump charcoal, which I've lit in a chimney starter. Dump the coals on the bottom grate of your grill and you must use natural lump charcoal. Spread the coals out into an even layer on the bottom of your grill grate, leaving about one third of the grill cold free. This is your cool or safety zone, and believe me, you'll need it. Next, fan any loose ash off of the coals. And now, the really cool part. Take your T-bones and check these out. These are a full two inch thick and lay them directly on the coals. Hey, I told you these were caveman T-bones. So what's the advantage of cooking the T-bones directly on the coals? Well, besides the obvious shock value, you get a surface charring, a crust and a smoke flavor you just can't achieve on a conventional grill. And how do you know when it's time to turn the steaks? Well, first of all, you'll see a little blood pearl up on the top of the steak. And then look at the bottom. When it's crusty and dark brown, the steaks are ready to turn. Once the steaks are cooked and browned on both sides, what you want to do is lift them up and tap each stick to knock off any loose embers. See, there's a loose ember. You want to knock that off. And with a pastry brush, you can brush off any loose ash. There won't be much. And now the fire roasted pepper sauce. Break the coals into an even layer and pour about a half cup of extra virgin olive oil into a cast iron skillet. Then set the skillet directly on the coals to heat for a couple of minutes. When the oil is hot, Add thinly slivered yellow bell pepper, red bell pepper, flat leaf parsley, and thinly sliced garlic. Return the mixture to the heat. Cook the peppers until lightly brown and fragrant and aromatic, two to three minutes. Was I nervous the first time I threw an expensive T-bone steak uh, on a bed of embers? You bet I was. But the flavor was so amazing, the presentation so cool, I had to take a chance and try it. Pour your flame-roasted peppers over the steak. And you want to use a really thick glove. This is extremely hot. So there it is. Caveman T-Bone with flame roasted pepper sauce. And I can't wait to dive in. Look at that, the way I like it. Mm. The smoky crust, the garlicky peppers. This might be the best steak on Planet Barbecue.